Hey everybody, Sean Hatzel here with Get Lean After 40 and inside today's video I want to teach people in their 40s, 50s, and 60s the best exercise strategy to use in conjunction with intermittent fasting. Now, if you're new to intermittent fasting, there's a specific way that people over 40 should be doing it based on their current hormonal condition and that's why I created my over 40 hormone reset one day diet protocol that you can learn about over at my website. Intermittent fasting is hot right now. It's a very hot trend, very similar to paleo, very similar to keto, and for a very good reason. Scientific studies now show, and you can read all about the new science over at my website, that when you fast, you can help reset your body's master weight management hormones if you do it the right way. So if you're new to fasting, a good way to start is to use a 12-hour fast Monday through Friday and I'll explain kind of how this works before I share the best exercise strategy to use. So you have your last meal of the day at 8 p.m. You break your fast the next day at 8 a.m. It's a great strategy to use Monday through Friday to get your body acclimated to intermittent fasting. Now as you do this you're going to start slowly resetting specific hormones. One of them being ghrelin. Ghrelin is often considered the hunger hormone because it regulates hunger and cravings and as you fast you're going to get better control of ghrelin so that you won't have hunger pangs when you're waiting that 12 hours now after about a week or two of doing this you can go ahead and start extending that window out so you're practically basically skipping breakfast altogether. now you can still have breakfast food in that first meal we're just pushing it back and remember breakfast is break fast the word itself is break fast so we're still having breakfast we're just having it at a different time of the day so for example i am prepping for my photo shoot i have just finished week five so i'm getting aggressive and today i did a 16 hour fast so my last meal of the day last night was at 9 p.m and then at 1 p.m this afternoon i drank water in the morning I had some apple cider vinegar with some lemon juice and some sea salt to wake up my adrenal glands and help my digestive health while I'm fasting. This also helps curb hunger and cravings, which I don't get anymore because I'm in control of ghrelin. And then at the 16 hour mark at 1 p.m., I break that fast two or three days per week with a high intensity metabolic bursting session or what I call ab targeted high intensity cardio. And the way I do this, like today I did a 60 second metabolic burst as hard as I could go on an elliptical machine. I always like to rotate machines. I think that helps break plateaus. And then I would alternate that back and forth between that and abdominal work. Now there's been a couple studies that have been published about spot reduction and it's previously believed that it was a myth, but these two studies prove that when you increase blood flow in an area that fat burning is happens more in the area that's adjacent to that. So theoretically, when I do this high intensity metabolic burst, I'm releasing adrenaline, which converts into hormones that metabolizes stored fat cells, right? Then I'm creating blood flow to my abdominal area. This allows those hormones to travel to that area and burn more fat in my belly region. Now this works best if you're already lean but it is a legit strategy and the study that was done was women who did upper body and lower body workouts and then they followed it up afterwards with a cardio session. And what happened was is where they created blood flow is where they burned the most fat. So the women who trained lower body burned lower body fat and the women who trained upper body burned upper body fat. And this is a clear indication that fat burning is increased where you create blood flow. So it only makes sense to me. I fasted for 16 hours. So my sympathetic nervous system is raised up really high. This means that growth hormone levels and adrenaline levels are already very high. Well, these high intensity metabolic burst for 60 seconds, I only did five rounds and, and structured it so that I did 25 reps of abs in between. But these metabolic bursts mimic that same exact effect as fasting by releasing this adrenaline and this growth hormone. So you release even more. So when you put these two together, the fasted state and the high intensity metabolic burst, you have a very powerful one, two metabolic punch to rip apart your body's stored body fat. Now, if you are already lean and or your goal is to gain muscle, it would be a different approach. On weight training days, I do have some carbs and protein both before and after workouts, small amounts, only for one reason to prevent muscle loss. 
if I had more fat to lose, then I probably would be training with weights in a fasted state as well. But as I get leaner, muscle becomes more jeopardized and it's a lot easier to lose muscle when you're trying to get rid of that last 10 pounds. So I make sure to fuel my muscles before and after these weight training workouts when I'm leaner. But ideally, if you have a lot of fat to lose, you wanna do your weight training workouts the same exact way as I just explained and break your fast with a high intensity exercise session. Now, one last thing, cause I know I'm gonna get this question is how long should you fast for? And the most important thing is how you break your fast and how you end your fast. Those two meals are critical. And that's why I created the over 40 hormone reset diet protocol, 24 hour hormone resetting solution over at my website. Now, if you exercise in the morning and that's the only time you have to exercise, you can still do that obviously in a fasted state after you wake up. And then when you're done, as long as you're healthy and you've been cleared for exercise, if you have any health issues, you might have to eat something directly after exercise. But you can go ahead and ride the wave afterwards and not consume anything and complete your fasted window and then go ahead and break the fast with a healthy meal. And I teach you the timing of that and the combinations of that over at my website along with how to incorporate strategic high carb cheat meals every weekend so that you don't suppress your thyroid and your leptin levels. It's all part of my over 40 hormone reset solution. You can learn all about it by clicking or tapping the link around this video. If you learned something, do me a favor, share this, like it. Remember, I gave you a drink of water with a fire hose here. So if it seems like too, information, too much information, just share it to your wall. You can go back and watch it later. And if you got questions, drop a comment below. I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching and God bless.